All right, what's up, everybody? So I'm pretty excited about today's video. It's a lot of fun doing these videos that are actually requested by uh, the people watching my other videos. So we have here, and I apologize because I'm going to butcher your name, uh, Sheree Ram, Sheree Ram, I think. I don't know. I'm sorry if I messed up your name. But this person uh, basically asked about uh, the runtime error in Eclipse. So Eclipse is another IDE that I don't really use, but someone asked about, uh, you know, originally I did this in IntelliJ, and then someone asked about NetBeans, so I did a uh, video in NetBeans, how to set it all up. This person is asking Eclipse, so this video is going to be how to set up your project in Eclipse, how to set up your VM options, how to set up your libraries, how to get basically um, the program that I show in this video to run in Eclipse. Um, so if you like this kind of stuff, you think this is going to be, um, you know, you like the videos that I put out already, please subscribe and hit like um, and leave a comment. And if there are any other videos you want, let me know. Please, please for a little bit, just uh, don't have me set up any more IEDs. This one was like, whew, Eclipse definitely is why I don't use Eclipse. This was a little bit more annoying than the uh, the other two. Honestly, out of all of these, NetBeans was the the easiest, I think, to set up. Um, but I still prefer IntelliJ. I just like the way that it looks and um, feels. But yeah, so uh, without further ado, here we go. So I just downloaded Eclipse. And when you download Eclipse, there's a bunch of different ones. Like once you hit download and you get into it and it starts installing, it'll ask you like which one you want to install. There's a billion different ones. Um, I picked the one for Java developers. So this is the uh, Eclipse version that I got. And I just hit, um, basically just finished downloading it, and I um, just hit open, and this is pretty much where I'm at. What I'm going to essentially try to do is, for now, just open an existing file, WTF. I don't know if that was the right file. That does not look right. No. Alright, that was not right. Let's try again. Open projects. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so you want to do open projects, not file. And the directory. Oh, this is weird. All right, I think I just want to open this one. So this already says it's going to detect and configure project nature. So not sure if that's going to really do what I want. Let's hit finish and see what happens. So it looks like everything is kind of working. So it doesn't understand JavaFX. So obviously we got uh, we definitely have to do some setup here to get this to work. Let me actually make this full screen so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, we got plenty of errors. All right, cool. Aha. All right, so we did it. All right, I'm not gonna watch the rest of that video. <laughs> okay, so basically you go into Windows and then you go into Preferences and they have a nice little search bar here. So just search for Build Path. And then I'm guessing we want to use our libraries. And right here, that's all. All right, so this should this should clear up like 90% of our errors, if not all of them. So we're gonna add a new library. The library name is gonna be, all right, Java underscore JDK. Boom. Um, all right, so now I need to add jars to my library. Why is it only giving me an option inside of my project? Like, my files are not saved inside my project. They're saved in my computer. Oh, add external jars. Yeah, there we go. OK, so you click on external jars. And then from there, so I'm going to go with uh, 11 because that's the one I usually use. And then my lib folder, here's all the jar files I want to add. So this one's a little different. You have to actually add the jar files, not just the, um, the whole, f the whole um, folder. So yeah, we're going to add all these jars. We're going to hit open. I think that should do it. It's a lot of stuff, but there, okay. So yeah, let's do that and click apply and close. Did anything change is the question. Doesn't look like it did. So 
So in my class path, I can add a library. So in my class path, I want to add a library. Um, select a library type to add. It's going to be a user library. And it's going to be this one that I created. Finish. Okay, so now my class path, in the Java build path, I have my libraries, and I have in my class path my that user library that I just made. So we'll apply that. Apply and close. Aha! We did it! Okay. So there we go. Uh, we have that. Um, that took away all my errors. With that being said, let's try to run this, right? And see what happens. All right, so we have the runtime components are missing and are required. So that's pretty much the error that you should get, which probably means that I need to add some type of, you know, path variable, um, you know, some VM options, basically, I think is what I'm missing. So let's try to see run configurations. Uh, maybe that's in run. Is there configurations? Coverage, run configurations. All right, so here we are in our run configurations. Ha, okay, so this dude actually made a perfect video for it. I'm gonna steal what he did. So I was close. So basically when you do module path, instead of actually, um, you know, putting path to FX here, you're gonna actually put your, just your straight up file path. So, oh, all right, so I think maybe the problem with this is the fact that I have these weird little curly brackets where he just has, he's just got, so instead of curly brackets, you're just going to use quotes. All right, let's try that. Apply. All right, and that worked. Okay, guys, so. I'll cut out all the ridiculousness of me struggling with this, but I uh, basically figured it out. So um, anyway, uh, I have figured out your problem and I will post this video so that you can uh, watch it and hopefully follow along and be able to set up the set up everything you need. Eclipse is definitely not um, as intuitive as some of the other IDEs out there. This was a little bit of a struggle, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you can uh, you know, follow along and get this all set up. So pretty much all you really need to worry about is inside window preferences. Most of your settings are right there. Um, you know, just type in the, the filter for basically path and then set up um, paths to your libraries. And then um, from there, the only other setup that you really need to worry about are your run configurations. So run configurations are obviously here. Just make sure that you're having it set up, um, you're setting up the run configurations to your main file. So you want your main file here and then your arguments, you can do your VM options here to make sure that your, um, your IDE can find all the files it needs to find to on startup. Um, JREs, not much to do there. Uh, looks like everything was pretty much kind of auto done for me automatically. But yeah, so that's it. Took a little bit longer than I hoped, but um, let me know if you guys found this useful. Um, I might actually I already lost the video. Never mind. I was gonna say I watched a pretty good video of someone actually doing these VM options, but whatever. We'll add this one to the rest of them. So hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video and it was helpful, um, please subscribe and uh, like this video. Add a comment. Uh, let me know if there are any other videos you want to do. Uh, hopefully this is the last IDE one setup that I do because this is the third IDE that I've set up. Um, and showing you guys, I do understand everybody likes, has their preference and, you know, uses different ones, but I've done NetBeans, Eclipse, and IntelliJ now, so let's, let's leave it at that <laughs> for a little bit. All right, guys, have a good one.